Hello there, my name is Terry Gorry and I'm a solicitor and I do quite a bit of employment law. One question I'm asked regularly enough is whether a client is entitled to a CID, that's a contract of indefinite duration. Well, this short video will just take a look at what's required to be entitled to a contract of indefinite duration. So firstly you need successive fixed term contracts. Now, the Protection of Employees Fixed Term Work Act of 2003 basically states that if an employee is employed on two or more successive fixed term contracts in continuous employment for a period of four years, then any attempt to give that employee a further fixed term contract is unlawful and void, and the employee is entitled to a contract of indefinite duration. The important thing here is that the employee must have been, been employed on two or more successive fixed term contracts and they must have been in a continuous employment for a period of four years. However, if the employer can justify the award of a further fixed term contract on objective grounds, then there's no breach of the Act and no entitlement to a contract of indefinite duration. What are objective grounds or what is objective justification for giving you another fixed term contract rather than a permanent contract? Well, the objective grounds justifying a for further fixed term contract are as follows. They must correspond to a real need and legitimate objective of the employer. The, they must be appropriate to achieve this objective and they must be necessary to achieve this objective. But the objective grounds then must correspond to a real need and legitimate objective of the employer. The employer then must state in, in writing the objective grounds for renewing a fixed term contract and not awarding a contract of indefinite duration. This written statement must be given to the employee prior to the renewal of a fixed term contract. Continuous employment then is also necessary. Remember you want two or more successive fixed term contracts on continuous employment. So in so far as breaks in employment, in other words there may be a break of a week, a month, two months between your two different fixed term contracts, the Rights Commissioner and the Employment Appeals Tribunal have held on occasion that breaks of up to three months do not break the continuous employment requirement. So if you have a fixed term contract and there's a gap of three months and then you're given another fixed term contract, it may well be that that's considered to be continuous employment, notwithstanding the break in employment of three months, the gap of three months. You can get more information, free information, about employment law in Ireland and other types of law, but about employment law, uh, obviously, as well at my website businessandlegal.ie as I said my name is Terry Gorry I'm a solicitor of Terry Gorry and Company Solicitors you can contact me there on the through the number on the screen or you can email me terry at businessandlegal.ie and I offer a free first consultation so whatever legal issue whether it's employment or anything else uh, the first consultation is free so you know just let me know